Hi everyone, Orlando here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, avoid uh, creating duplicates on your iTunes playlist. Um, I know we we all get music from different locations, whether it would be from your friends, uh, from CDs that you have, or downloading from different websites other than iTunes. Uh, so most of the time when you install when you install iTunes. Uh, if you go to preferences and you go to advanced these two check marks won't be checked or it depends whether you select them when you're installing it or not uh, if they're not checked this way that means that if you if you grab a file if you go for example I'm gonna go to my musics and then let's see we're gonna go to this one and uh, we're gonna grab a file Let's see. Say, let's say this one for example, and I bring it into iTunes. Okay, so I had it ready there. Um, here's the file. If you if you go look at the location of the file uh, under Get Info, and you see here the address of the location of the file is the actual folder where the file is located at it's not in the iTunes folder so any changes you make to the to the name the artist the genre or the album they're not gonna change the file name and and if you were to copy that file to another computer it's not gonna be updated because iTunes does not change the file the file names unless they are in the iTunes folder so in order for you to have them in the iTunes folder you're gonna have to go and check these check this one right here copy files to iTunes media folder when adding to library so now when I do that for example this one's already under let's see play it okay let me check if it updated um, it still says it's on that file on that file where I had it under my music folder so I'm gonna load it in again uh, it shouldn't make a duplicate because it's gonna recognize the same name I believe um, so if we go now uh, I didn't close this let's try it again okay so if I go now and go to get info if you see now it's under the iTunes folder it's no longer in the musics which it was this one previously it was just music music CD and that was the file now it's actually it's actually under let's see we're gonna go to musics iTunes iTunes music and it's going to be oh I don't says where it's gonna be unknown unknown baby bash there we go so unknown unknown baby bash so there you see iTunes made a copy of the file and put it in the iTunes folder uh, since we haven't named the 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 artist and the album or in the genre it's not updating it here but if we go in here into iTunes and we go into info for that file and we have and we uh, correct on the names for example control X to uh, cut that out control V is a victor paste it okay we're gonna put that as I think it's R&B or hip hop I'm gonna put hip hop hip hop okay and you can name the album baby bash okay okay so now that file has been updated if you see on the if you see here the album the 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 artist album and genre are being updated so if we go and look at the information of that file now right there it's been updated also now whereas if you if you don't have this checked the this copy uh, copy files to iTunes uh, it won't update the file and uh, it's better if you have an organized uh, playlist of your music but the problem with this is 
that now you have two files. Now you have the one is the one that is in the iTunes folder, and we also have the one that is under the original folder where I had it, which is right here. So you have two copies now on your computer, even though iTunes is only showing you one because it's the one that iTunes uh, imported to to the iTunes folder and it updated. Um, it doesn't delete the original one so you will have to come here and delete it so every time if you're gonna if you wanna organize your music you're gonna wanna grab for example you download all this all this music from here you grab it and you drop it into iTunes and after that after you drop it and you let iTunes import it to your iTunes folder if you have that if you have this check mark then you, you're gonna have to go here and delete the original ones um, that's your choice if you want to delete them but I would say yes delete them because you're just taking up more space in your computer just make sure that you have your settings set to to the, the to the file type that you want to use I usually go here to general and then import settings and I change it to mp3 because some some files don't play the the default some pro I mean some mp3 players some 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 uh, devices not the iPods but other ones after markets they don't play these AAC encoder encoded files so I always change it to mp3 and anytime you you load CDs it'll it'll put them in your computer as mp3s and not AAC also you want to have a good quality I 192 is the best you can customize it to more I believe but um, 160 is enough the files sound good if you don't care about your space I don't have a whole lot of space on my computer but if you don't care about that I will I will choose 192 so your file integrity stays uh, high the, the quality of it stays high so and then after you're done with this you just hit OK and OK and uh, that should be it I hope this helped uh, if you have questions, uh, comments, or suggestions, uh, if you have a better way to do it, uh, write it at the, in, the, in the comments. Uh, I believe that's it. Okay. Oh, one more thing I was forgetting. Um, most people know about these, uh, but just for you, for those of you that don't know, uh, you can go to File. Uh, display duplicates and it will show you how many duplicates you have you have 600 songs well I right here I have 600 songs uh, that have duplicates in other words uh, I should have 300 instead of 600 so that's taking a lot of space on my computer uh, but this is this this is not really actually on my computer because it was on another hard drive and I didn't import it to iTunes so they're not really there but anyways, uh, this is how you can find um, which songs you have duplicates and uh, you can just come here and delete the extra songs for example, I have three of, three of those, I can delete them and leave the one I, I want to leave also uh, if, you have, if you have two of the same and let's say the beat rate or it's the quality of your song uh, one is higher than the other one well, you're always, you're always going to want to uh, keep the, the high high bit rate the higher bit rate bit rate one so yeah that you have a better uh, file uh, quality uh, once you're done you go back to display normal and it'll take you back to your regular library so I hope this helped uh, comment or put your suggestions in the bottom thank you